Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And once again, I've been told to solve an equation to figure out what the variable must be equal to in order to make this statement of equality true, in order to make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. That's what it means to solve. And how do we do that? Well, we work to get the letter alone. Now, as we get into higher math, you'll find more and more tricks to learn to get the letter alone, <laughs> but that's what we are going to do. Right now, the only trick we have at our disposal is using inverses, using inverses uh, to get rid of math. And so that is what I am going to use. Now, if you know more tricks than I do and you know a different way, don't worry, but we should get to the same answer in the end. So this is the first thing I noticed. My R is trapped in a group. We said when we were solving, we should leave those groups till last, okay, because we're, we're moving through the order of operations backwards. Um, so the order of operations is groupings, exponents, multiplication, and its inverse, addition, and its inverse. So anyway, I'm going to leave that G, that group, till last, and I'll take away this negative 4 first. Now, a lot of students want to move this by adding 4. You'd be so wrong. Careful. Do you see how this negative 4 is all shoved up against this grouping? That is a multiplier. I'm going to remove it by dividing. Now, the opposite of, I mean, let me say that again. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to uh, both sides. So I am going to divide by 4 on this side as well. Okay, let's take a look at that what that will do to my equation. So on this right hand side, multiplying by negative 4 and dividing by negative 4 are opposites, so they just cancel. And the only thing I have left is that group. I don't need a parenthesis if that's the only thing I have left. So I'm just going to write, oops, sorry, 3r minus 1 on this side. Now on that side, 32 divided by negative 4 is negative 8. Okay, now I'm going to continue to work to get R alone. Uh, next thing, I'm going to move away. Since I freed up this group now, I can move away whatever's adding or subtracting. So I'm going to do the opposite of subtracting 1. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Let's see what my new equation will be. Subtracting 1 and adding 1 are opposites. They cancel. 3 R's alone like I wanted. And negative 8 plus 1 gives me negative 7. And you could do it in your TI, your calculator, if you needed to. You'd have one for this on the GED. Now I want to get R alone. Got to get rid of this 3 who is currently multiplying with R, so I'll do the opposite. I'll divide. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides. Now, let's see what we get here. Now, notice on this side, 3 divided by 3 cancels perfectly. I just have an R. But on this side, negative 7 divided by 3, uh, it, it's not nice, guys. 3 doesn't go perfectly into negative 7. And if I tried to do it in my calculator, negative 7 divided by 3, I'd get an ugly gross decimal. So guess what mathematicians would do? We would just leave it as a simplified fraction. That freaks out students, but mathematicians love it. We're like, oh, I don't have to do ugly division decimal? No way. That's why fractions were invented. So lazy mathematicians don't have to do gross division. So what is R? R is just negative 7 thirds. Now, you could certainly convert that if you really wanted to and tell me something like, oh, it's negative 2 and 1 third if you want it as a mixed number. But I have to tell you the truth, this is the more common answer because mathematicians are so lazy, we'd probably just leave it there. Negative seven over three is a legit answer here, and I am done. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.